all right welcome to this section today i will be teaching you how to open an account on a cac portal and under this we'll be covering three outlines just like we can see the first line outline here is how to create an account on cac portal that is the first outline the second outline is how to optimize your account so you have created an account in the first stage then how do you optimize that account you've created and then the third one or the third outline we are considering under this course is understanding the landing page or the interface of cac portal the interface of CAC registration portal. So these are the three courses we'll be covering in this module and we'll go into it right away. So the first one. Now, the first thing I would like you to know is that okay, the first one, which is how to create an account how to create an account right so let's go into the first one the first topic is how to create an account so the first thing i would like you to know is that there are two kinds of accounts that can be created on cac portal the first one is the proprietor accounts these are individual or proprietor that is owners of businesses or properties accounts in other words this is an account created by any member of the public for the sole purpose of registering a business name without the services of an agent so this is what it means to have a proprietor account if you have a proprietor account it means that you created an account and you can be anybody you are any member of the public you can create an account for the sole purpose of doing what of registering a business name in CAC portal so such account is what we refer to as proprietor account you can create an account as a proprietor who wants to register your business in CAC portal or you can create an account as an agent so but the first account type is the proprietor account and this is a personal account that you create to register your own business not someone else's business, your own business. Please take note of that. Now, there is a, a clause to it. There are terms and conditions to creating a proprietor account. If you are creating an account as a third party to somebody, you must take note of the fact that you must be a director, a trustee, or a proprietor or partner during the registration process. So, for instance, let's say I want to register a business for my sister and then I went and created an account using my own detail. The implication of that is that my detail that I use, I will be one of the directors or the proprietor or, the, or a partner in that business. Otherwise, it is that my sister's details that I ought to use to create an account. So a proprietor an account is personal, is for the proprietor, is for the owner of the business, is for is for the director of the business or the trustee of the business. It's not for third party to create an account and use it to register for a proprietor. That is not allowed or there is no room for that in the CAC portal. So that is the first type of account registration in CAC portal then the second type of account is what we call the accredited agent account an accredited agent are persons or institutions certified by the corporate affairs commission to offer and submit pre-incorporation and post-incorporation filing on behalf of individuals and businesses so this is an accredited agent someone who who has been certified by the corporate affairs commission to offer these services so you can do a pre-registration or a post-registration on the portal 
so you must be a certified person or institution an accredited agent account then is an approved account by CAC to offer services to the public so if an accredited agent is someone who has been certified by CAC the account the person open is therefore recognized as an approved account is like the third party account that you owe to be able to serve someone else CAC uh, created their portal such that everybody will register their business individually but in a situation whereby you cannot do the individual registration you want to contact it out then an accredited agent is an approved personnel for you to give that job so that the person will do it for you please let's take note of this and who are these accredited agents who are these accredited agents accredited agents you say professionals who are qualified by CAC to serve as an accredited agent are number one legal practitioners so you are a legal practitioner you are qualified to be an accredited agent you are a certified public accountant you are qualified to be an accredited agent you are a professional secretary you are qualified to be an accredited agent and then you are an expert so expert means you are not any of this but you have acquired the skill so well such that you can affiliate yourself with any of these uh, certified personnel then you can be an accredited agent there are people who are neither legal professionals certified accountant or professional secretaries yet they fall in in fact chunk majority of nigerians who are doing this fall into this group of experts then you can just yes still do the job but you have to affiliate yourself with an accredited person so that you can either use their portal or use their code their registration code to offer your services so one of the benefits of being an accredited agent is be one of the benefits of being an accredit is that you 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 is that it gives you an opportunity to offer a professional service you offer a professional service to the public you are an authority you are considered as an authority in this field and then you can also earn royalty you can earn royalty just by being an accredit how do you earn royalty this group of people who have acquired the skill who don't have an official portal can use your code or your portal to do registration and pay you royalty for using your account so any of them can fit into your own this thing and you are good to go you are good to go so that is that and you are good to go so that is that about being an accredited agent so steps to creating an account so i will stop this video here and then in the next video i will show you all the practical ways that you can create an account whether as a proprietor or as an agent so see you in the next video